What's up, guys? It's me again. So now we're looking at 4-3, which is page 181. And it looks like this. So in the top, it says use a place value drawing to help you solve each problem, then label your answers. So remember, place value drawings. So your ones are dots. So you can do these dots to represent ones. So that would be nine. Tens are represented by a straight line. Hundreds are represented by a box. And then thousands are represented by this long rectangle, okay? So it takes 10 of these ones to make one of these lines, 10 of these lines to make one of these boxes, and then 10 of these boxes to make one of these rectangles. So that's how you read the place value. Um, if you have a hard time remembering this, remember you can always rewind this video and then go back to this portion and then watch it again. So that's the great thing about having these videos. All right, so let's get into the work. So looking at number one, it says that Kyle's birthday party gave each of his eight friends a bag, and each bag had 10 party favors. So you can use a place value drawing, and it could look similar to this. You can do 10, can be represented with 10 ones. So if you wanted to draw 10 ones like this, you're welcome to do that. If you just want to draw the single line, that works too. So if I were to do this for each one, and then I counted it, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, you would have 80 party favors. Okay, so that's what they're expecting you to do is to do some type of drawing like this to represent. And the reason why we do these drawings, I know for some of you, you can do this in your head and that's perfectly fine. But the reason why we're doing this is so that you have evidence to show that you understand what they're asking. So if someone asked you, well, how do you know? Well, I know that there's 10, I can prove it with a drawing because sometimes it's hard for us to prove why we understand something. And this is one easy way to prove it. So do your place value drawings. Uh, that way that we can see that you totally do understand and that it just didn't come up out of nowhere and that you weren't guessing. Okay, all right, so let's talk about the next part. When you go to the bottom of the page, they're gonna give you some numbers like this. So we call this word form. So they're gonna give you a problem in word form and it might look like this. Uh, 243. Your job is to write it in number form. So you read it the way that it's um, said to you. So 200, so I know that there's two hundreds. So I'll write two first, 40. 40 we know is a way that we can count tens. So four in the tens place value. And then three is our ones place value. So when we write this down as a conversion, 243 should be represented as 243, 243. Okay, let's try a few more. Let's say 8,000. 300, 5. Okay, so 8,000. That's We always start from left to right because that's our biggest place value. We want to start off uh, left to right. 8,000. So I know there's a comma because there's a comma after every three place value places. 8,300. So I know hundreds is next. And then this one doesn't have a 40, a 30. 20, it doesn't have tens. So what do we do when it doesn't have it? We put a zero. Zero is kind of our place marker because we don't say zeros when we're talking about numbers. And then five. So it should look like this, 8,305. Okay. And let's do one more. This one does have a tens, no hundreds, right? So 87, 80, 
it's like this, right? And then we want to supplement with the 7, so we just say 87. Done. All right, so this is all as a preview for page 181, which looks like this. Uh, if you have any problems, please bring them up during uh, office hours, or you can always ask us, email us, and then we can help you out. All right, good luck. Miss you guys.